right a new episode all right so that side and that side and what i'll do the it's not bad is that for fitment you know i should I like it in place it's got a little indentation there but this is a heritage panel it's got scratches there it's got scratches there I've had this panel for over a year and it's been wrapped up in bubble wrap but also what I need to do as well I had these on the other mini so obviously I want to be able to put these in But I don't think they fit in because of that. I'm not sure. Let me have a play with it and see. I'm going to assume you need to cut the hole because that needs to be circular, or I'll probably just do a little bit of filing. But I don't think the hole's big enough. Well, it's pretty, uh, pretty dirty, this thing. But that's what it could possibly look like if it had a bit of a strip down, some rust protection on it. That doesn't look too bad, does it? The both sides are in. The top bolts are in. Now, I'm not buying new bolts, so I'm just going to clean them up. I've got new uh, rubbers for them. I've got new rubbers for under here, and I've got new rubbers for there. So I'm ready to put those new wings on next weekend. That's what the subframe would look like. It's not bad, is it? Short mock up. But it's obviously not uh, not set where that is, so I've got to cut it all. But you can see it coming together now. It'll soon look like a car again. I'm gonna get those out. I'm gonna get that out. And I can put this door on. I've got that piece in now. That's what I've just gotta push that down a bit. And weld that in. If you notice down here, I cut it wrong, so I had to add another piece onto it. And all I'm going to do is just cut down there, and it's done. Uh, that that worked. That took me ages to do all that. And I've just got that one to do now. But when I've I measured it off the old piece, and then because I'd used a uh, a grinding disc to get it out. It wasn't a mill disc, and the the hole is too big, so I'm gonna have to make another one. I've cut it too small, so it's not a problem. I've got plenty of cut off metal. Once I've got that piece in, I can start putting those on and shaping those to where I've got that, and hopefully we can start putting the bonnet on to get make sure that this scuttle panel's in the right place. I've got the door on. I can get down here so I've got the door on now. So the door is on. Now I've got one shim there. No shims in the bottom. This door is totally different to the other side. And it sort of hits the I think it's that metal there but if I take that shim off 
it touches there and it hits there it's it's got damage already there where it's been hitting I'm just not sure I'm gonna have to ask somebody about that but it looks like it wants to come down at the back because if you look where those two are just looks like it wants to come down a bit just not sure yet I've got the door on so it did when I had it on before it didn't it didn't do that but it was touching there at the time so maybe I should the shim that's in there sort of grind it you know grind it off a little bit see if that works we'll have to see I'm not really bothered just yet because uh, I'm not ready to put the wings on and that so I've got that in place still got all to do yet and all I've got to do is just cut cut down there I've, it's just a little bit too big there put a, a fixing screw in there Got a little bit more done today. That wing in. I'm just gonna put some primer over that. I've still got a piece to make there. And obviously that piece there I need to make up. Don't know how to do that yet, but And I've welded in, I've welded it all the way down there. Still got a screw to do there. Well, it looks a mess in there, but it looked a mess there before. But I've just sort of welded all the way down. I brushed some sealer up there, it'll be fine. So I just want to get some primer on it and just put a bit of primer on it and stop it from uh, rusting. Probably put some epoxy on it. So I've got a piece of uh, metal from the flitch panel and I've also got my cardboard so I'll use this I haven't got any cereal packets but I've got the ultimate warrior the ultimate warrior will give me the strength <laughs> alright anyway less of the joking I couldn't, I couldn't cut up the Ultimate Warrior, so he's going to have to stay there now. So I put some primer in there, well, sorry, should I say I've uh, epoxy primered that inner wing, so at least it's going to be protected a little bit from, and then I've done that. Yeah, so if you look at that one, can you see that piece there? That's not on there. So I'm gonna have to drill it off there uh, and then put it on there. Uh, and I'm almost sure there's something on the other side. And can you see that screw hole there? There's not one there. So I haven't got a clue what goes there. 
that thing there. So there's a screw hole on there. There isn't on there. So I may need to take that off and put it on there. I've just noticed something else as well while I'm putting it away. I don't know how I'm going to hold this, but there, there's a, a bolt on back. I can see this hole here. There's not one there, and I'm sure that's for indicator for the wire to go through. <laughs> but before I put the wings on, before I put the wings on, I'll uh, I'll sort of get them done. So someone I know has got a cone drill, so I'll drill through it. I'll get them both on because they're on there. Let me see if the other side's the same. So those two are there, yeah, there's obviously some holes here, where I haven't got any holes, those are for the fan, but there's already holes there for them, so that's it on there, that's exactly the same, apart from a couple of holes that are at top here, where they're not on there. Now, in my opinion, from there to there, so that little section there is the best welding I've ever done and probably that little tiny bit there the rest isn't as good but you know <laughs> it's pretty good that actually that, that little bit there you know it just sort of flowed and then I came up here and then it started bubbling out but I'm quite happy with that I'll just get it grinded off uh, and a little bit of uh, weld through on it and then I've got to obviously cut that piece out now but it's not too bad that oh. hopefully it'll grind off quite easy a little note to yourself when you want to start grinding something off don't leave your grinding discs on the floor with the, in the tool 